Hello and welcome back to Culinary Chronicles. Today, we're gonna to be cooking up the first meal from Blue Apron that I just received in the mail today. And this is part of our quest to find the best meal kit delivery services that is available so that you know and can be guided to buy the right one. I am not a professional chef by any stretch of the imagination. I've never worked in a kitchen. I've never been paid for my cooking. I'm just a dad and a husband that enjoys cooking and enjoys eating probably even more and just want to find a really good meal kit that lays it all out for me, tells me exactly what to do. Before we get started, keep in mind that if you want to order Blue Apron yourself, please use the link in the description below. It gives you a great discount so that you can be able to try the product out for yourself, pick out which menu you want, how frequently you want it, how many servings, all of that, and uh, and get a good grasp of it yourself rather than just listening to me talk about it. But by all means, stick around and we're gonna cook up the crispy skin salmon from Blue Apron. All right, first things first, fill a large pot three quarters of the way up with salted water, cover and heat to a boil on high. So let's get working on that. All right, got our pot already out. I did read ahead in the direction just a little bit to try to know what I was doing. So they say fill this about three quarters of the way up. This is to make the farro, 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 I think is how that's called. I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Put this on the center here. Oh, I, I forgot the salt already. Uh, get some salt in here. And we're gonna cover that. Maybe that helps it boil faster. We got the water boiling and we're gonna chop up some produce here. Place the raisins. I didn't know I had raisins. Ooh, raisins, there we go, this is interesting. Place raisins in a bowl, cover with hot water set aside to hydrate at least 10 minutes. Who knew you could rehydrate raisins? So I'm gonna just drop the raisins in the bowl here. I never heard of that before. All right, but we will set those aside for 10 minutes. All right, well, here you go. You're gonna see a grown man cry here on, on television as we, uh, on, on YouTube, rather, as we cut this onion. I don't know, there's all kinds of techniques about biting a piece of bread or whatever. I don't know. We're just gonna jump right into this. Here we go. And we're gonna half it, just like that. See, I don't think you need to wash the onion because you got this outer shell you can kind of peel off there. Isn't it weird that onions make you cry? Here we go. So let's thinly slice. My technique for slicing anything is just try not to slice my fingers. I know they say like you, you put it up against the back of your fingers. I don't know. If I do more of these kits, I should learn how to do this. But I think part of the part of the whole thing is I just want this to be as honest as, as possible. I would venture to say probably not any professional chefs use this sort of thing, but for your just regular average guy, like me or gal, you know? This is what it's about right here. It's just making some meals for our family. My wife's gonna be impressed. I'm cooking with onions. Uh, that's not something I normally do. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, so we got the onions and then medium dice the zucchinis. All right, let's see if we can figure out what a medium, medium dice is. Trying to do the rocking method here. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll cut it this way. That's how I did one of the other ones. We'll cut it this way. Here we go. We'll do it like that into half moons. And then we medium, what is it called? A medium dice. Okay, we'll get bigger chunks kind of diced up. Uh, I can only imagine if you are like a chef that knows how to like uh, dice food and prepare it, what you're seeing right now and going, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna go ballistic, get a grip. But the key is just to get it diced up, right? It may not look as pretty, but we're just gonna get it all, all in there. I don't know, what do you think? Medium dice? 
This one, I think I might have a better technique now. Slice this in half, just like that. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna cut it in quarters, and then we're gonna go, ooh, look at that. Now that, that worked out pretty good. Don't follow me for my safety and chopping techniques. Uh, that is, that is somebody else's channel there. So we're gonna peel the garlic. So we only need two cloves. So I might have some extra garlic. We don't always have garlic, but, uh, but when we do buy garlic, try to buy a whole, um, what do you call it? The individual pieces are called cloves, but it, the whole thing is called a, I don't know. Let me know in the uh, comment section, a, a, a uh, garlic stock uh, bunch. Wait, this is really not coming undone here. Five hours later. Almost there. Well, the longest process of this whole menu has been peeling garlic. It's okay, roughly chop. I can do that. Roughly chop is my middle name. If they said finely or accurately chop, that's where we have problems. Olives here. Ooh, they're nice. And do they say roughly chop olives? I like a good roughly chop. All right, that is about as roughly chopped as you can get. The uh, water's boiling, so let's get the, uh, let's move on to add the farro, the farro. I don't know how to say that. It's like, a, it looks like a rice. But this is what's really cool about these, these uh, recipes. I never would have used this, but to, to be able to uh, try this out is a great way of trying new things. All right. So I noticed there's something red all over my hand. I didn't cut myself. It is the uh, like flakes from the uh, some seasoning that's in that bag that came. Oh, all right. I'm take that off. And add the farro once it's boiling. Okay. All right, let's figure out this lemon zesting process. Uh, so I'm a little confused about this. Okay, the lemon zest, skip that, because I, 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 I don't understand that yet, and it sounds like that comes in last. But the raisins are, uh, I think, rehydrated, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull, dump the water out of this. You wanna have that go for 10 minutes, so let's go over to the stove and start cooking up the rest of these uh, pieces parts. All right, so moving over to the stove here, we've got, uh, we've got the farro doing its boiling thing. I'm gonna get out a non-stick pan. Ah, ooh, all right, there we go. So, in a large non stick pan, if you have one, drizzle medium-high heat. Get a little uh, drizzle of oil. We have extra virgin olive oil there. Okay, we're gonna get some onions here. All right, we're just gonna get those cooked up. Maybe I could have done smaller pieces of onions, but I did the best I could, you know? Some pepper. Well, pepper, oops. actually, pepper and onion smell like pizza. That's a weird thing. A few more minutes on the I keep wanting to call it quinoa, it's not quinoa. All right, that's feeling good and soft. That's zucchini. Garlic. Zucchini. Did not say the olives yet, right? This feels like a Mediterranean style dish here. Get those, or onion, zucchini. And again, I say this all the time, but this makes me feel like a chef right here. You know what, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold off on the red pepper flakes. I'm not a big spice guy. We can always add it to taste, depending on, on who's eating it. So I'm gonna forego that step. It says add as much as you'd like. I don't really wanna like add much. I'd say that's pretty soft. Ooh, that's hot, I won't tell you that much. All right, I got a, a little, uh, I don't know how small they are. So I just got kind of a, a double strainer system going here. Ooh, sweet. Okay. 
That worked pretty good, actually. They turn the pan and cover to keep warm. So we'll just take this, set it over here, and cover. There we go. Quite brown enough, but I always tend to overcook things, so I, I try to go less than what I think I should, because it always seems like there's a narrow window of like just right and then way too much. All right, I'd say we're gonna turn off the heat, add the raisins. So we're gonna take this, we'll stir these in, the olives, and stir that up nice and well. So nice bowl right here. And we'll transfer that into here. Okay, foil. That over there. That just keeping that warm. Okay, now so we get the heat back up. Get some more oil. I like it when you can cook in the same pan. It makes it a lot easier and clean up much better. I'm not sure how to open this. <laughs> uh, this is very well sealed here. Okay. Very thin plastic. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. All right. I see what's going on. <laughs> I thought that was the skin. That's not the skin. Okay. So we're just going to take these and then, oh, cool. Those are already sliced. That's nice. So we got four nice looking flanks, pepper, and let's flip these over. Okay, now back over to the stove here. Oh yeah, that sounds like we're cooking. All right, good. I've not cooked salmon this way before. I've cooked, um, like baked it and stuff like that. Cool. All right, so then you just want to add the vegetables. Get that. You can't do this too early, right? So we'll add the vegetables in there. Uh, I'm just gonna cut the lemon, right? And just squeeze some lemon in there. I'm right over here, just cutting a lemon. And we're just gonna get a little, little bit of this, a little bit of this. Okay, we're just gonna go squeeze that. That's my version of zest. I don't know. So that's half a lemon. Try that, give a little, little fresh, fresh zip to it, and we'll turn that. Looking good, looking good. Season with salt and pepper if desired. Uh, why not? You know, we're seasoning everything else with salt and pepper. So, salt and pepper into this. Now, we'll cover this back up, just like that. Grab a little spatula here to get this flipped. Careful. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's turning brown. Nice and brown. Flip this. Nice. We'll let that cook, and then we're gonna get ready to uh, get this plated over here. Okay, and the timer just went off here. And there you have it. There is the cooked salmon, which looks pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna just set that down here. Get our vegetables here. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit of vegetables here. Okay. A little bit of that nice solid bed of vegetables. And then grab a nice little, so then I'm gonna put flip that over like that, I guess. And then you get a little bit of this here. Okay, and you just top this on there, I guess. Salsa verde. I guess we got extra lemon. We can just do a little. Here we go. Let's try this out. A little of the fish. A little all the vegetables here. Let's try this. See the steam coming off of it. Wow. That is really flavorful. There's, it's got this fresh kind of flavor. The salsa adds a lot to it. Salmon cooked up really nicely. 
not something I would ever pick, right? This is this is what's so great about this, is this is not a recipe that I would even order in a restaurant or know much about it, but I like salmon, so I knew that would uh, be a hit. Uh, very good, this is a great one. I wanna remind you, if you wanna get your own Blue Apron box to try this out for yourself, to try this recipe or another one that they have, uh, they have tons of them to pick from. Be sure to click the link in the description so that you can get an extra discount with that. So why, why try this at full price when you can click on our link and get a little bit of a discount, a little bit of a discount, it's a huge discount, that you can be able to try this out. I only ask one favor is that when you do order the, the box, be sure to come back on this video and, and comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. But pretty close, I mean, it, it took me probably about 45 minutes in total. But of course I'm recording, so sometimes that takes a little bit longer. But uh, it was, it's really good. Very highly recommend it. And so I'm gonna uh, indulge in eating this and we'll see you in the next video. I also have uh, the, the second recipe to cook up yet. So join me as we talk about the next recipes. Blue Apron, highly recommend. Here we go. Mm. That's good.